How's it going everybody? My name is Armando and welcome back to another Dead Frontier video. So guys, I'm sorry for being away for so long. It's just that recently I was uh, going through a lot of pain, as you can tell. Let me show you real quick. Boom! You guys see that? Boom! Oh god, god, that hurts, that hurts. Oh. Anyway, so basically what happened was I thought I messed up my back because I had some nerve damage from my leg down. And before anything, I, three years ago, I did mess up my discs, L2, L3, whatever it was. But I did mess them up, and I thought I had sciatica. But needless to say, I didn't mess them up, I just had a hamstring strain. Nevertheless, it's wrapped. Uh, I just can't edit for too long or sleep for too long, because if not, the nerve starts getting compressed on the torn muscle. It's not torn, it's just a strain, but uh, you, you know what I'm talking about. But overall, I have to bring you guys this video, right? So through pain and through agony, I will give you guys this video, okay? So without further ado, let's get into it. So Clayton, 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 you son of a gun. I always say, guys, have faith in Clayton. Some of the updates that came out, yes, they weren't too hyped. But this one, I knew Clayton was going to pull through, you sexy MF. So let me stop, you know, glorifying the man here. Let's talk about, let's see what he's talking about. God, God damn, I'm getting a little... Like, you know, a little sore here. Death Frontier 1 2021 development update. All right, it's time to talk about what I've been working on. Things are still being developed, but I will release more details later on and answer some questions and address concerns as they pop up here. Uh, as a pop up, sorry. Here's a basic overview. Traditionally, we would expand the map more to the right side, adding a lot of space. I like that. Yeah, we need more space, man. We're getting bored of the same old loot loot. This time, I want you to put more focus on making better use of existing space. Okay. We have a large map, but not a whole lot to do in it. Yes, we do not have nothing to do in these maps, man. It's basically just the same block over and over, and we get bored. This means re revamping current areas and effect that you feel unique and turning low traffic areas into points of interest. All right. The scopes of this varies from the idea... Uh, from idea to idea and area to area but starts with the largest being a south end zone revamp nice a hellscape created by experimented on infected locked away now releasing into fairview so basically there's the lore infected that was just you know developing probably underground let's just put it to that for the lore and they decided to say f the ground we're gonna take over the freaking you know the the uh, upper ground so yeah I, I like that so far man the plan SEZ is supposed to be the go-to place for looting yes while it does indeed have better drop rates NEZ has an uncontented Uncontented, uncontented. I can't talk. Uh, <laughs> convenience factor. The aim is to create a looting base equivalent of the wasteland. So, what are the goals for the area? One, restoring some of that jackpot feeling when uh, to find a rare loot without restricting loot spot counts. High risk, high reward. Yes, as a looter, I've always wanted to have that feeling of oh, this was worth it. I, I I killed myself for four hours, but here it is. The loot's worth it. Utilizing the crafting system in a way to allow us to introduce new content that doesn't abandon older content. And a dark and glory atmosphere. So let's look at the first image. As we can tell, these guys don't look like they're playing. They're still long arms. Oh, and the crows are back. No, the crows. God damn it. Uh, if you guys don't know in the Frontier 3D or 2D, the crows were just so annoying. But they're back. Look at them. But uh, you can tell he revamped them to look more creepier. Hold on, I gotta stretch for a bit, guys. God dang it. Uh, through pain and through agony, we must suffice and bring you guys the video. This this kind of does hurt, guys. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Maybe this way, fine lord. Yeah, that, I think that's better. <laughs> I'm on my right side, guys. Uh, but anyway, look at the image. As you can tell, they're crows, they're zombies, and there's a fat zombie. But you can all see their spine. All of them. But it just looks like it's way more chaotic. Which is something that we wanted, to be honest. Because in the Death Frontier world, it's just not a lot going on. I mean, you go out there... You loot, but it's just boring, especially with the Wraith Cannons and everything coming out, more overpowered weapons coming out. It is time for a new different type of difficulty to come out, but with this out, I think it will be worth it, especially when he says the rewards will be a lot more, you know, high risk, high reward, which I do like to hear that. So basically, only the people with the, you know, with the with the big guts will be able to survive this and claim the almighty loot. But yeah, it looks good. Image number two. Yeah, a lot more aggro. My god, this looks insane, man. I, it just looks creepy, yo. It looks like you're gonna have a hard time here just to kind of like survive. If they could f fix the sink, trust me, man, this will be an amazing update. But sink is still an issue. I know you guys say it's not, but trust me, it still is. But hey, you guys are doing something that actually will make the gameplay better. But let's continue, you know, the, the, the discussion. Weapons. We're working on a new lootable weapon set that can only be obtained by looting this revamp SEZ. These new weapons will have crafting recipes with high requirements, existing 120s, devil hearts, etc. But more excitingly, we're adding in the chance to loot them already assembled and complete. Okay! 0.001%, but okay! In fact, then, I'm taking some inspiration from Death Row. Yes! Death Frontier 2D. If you guys haven't checked out, that's a video on my channel that how when you get to the end zone of the map, it's just insane. Like, because of the fact that even if you ran or if you shot, 
Like if you shot and you try to run, you can't do it. So when you shot, you have to really know how to move around, and it requires a bit of skill, but it's still good. Uh, where is it? Um, and adding a certain amount of twist on it. On the, one of the first things I'm borrowing is some of the infected. We are introducing three different tier 3D remix versions of the crow, and it's the ability to fly over objects. Red long arms, green long arms, and a few surprises I'll show more later on. Nice. Twist. There are currently some experimental area specific features. Twist in the works. This including includes taking it into a dark zone, which where minimap visibility is obscured. Oh! You need to clear the area around you to be able to open the menu back manually. And hardcore aggro spikes for buff variants of the areas infected spawn, similar to all hardcore maps, but during the aggro spike duration. I will keep you guys updated on my progress with this area revamp. Finally, this next edition isn't directly related to SCZ revamp, but will be included in the update. I am updating more variations like the current Fleming variation to existing bosses, starting with some ideas inspired by DF2. At the moment, this includes charred and irritated, but we will be expanding to a few more. This will, these will introduce slight mechanics and state variations to make things up a little. And there you go, guys! We have some sexy new bosses. Yes, they're the old ones, but they look nice. They look irritated. They look pissed. And this one is breathing fire. <laughs> but yeah, overall, Clayton, you son of a gun. It looks great, man. I've always been such an asshole when it came to, you know, what different tier needed. And honestly, Clayton is just technically perfectly. Like I said, have faith in the man, man. He's the one, you know, with the keys to different tier 3D. And I know he will not fail. Especially with the coding that's 3D and at the moment, I give him a lot of props for dealing with that. But overall, the images here that he's showing is just insane, man. Like, you can no longer just go in with a, w, with a UWC and just blast the whole place up. Because if not, you're going to have a hell of a lot of difficulty to, you know, deal with this. And I'm guessing they're going to have less knockback resistance. In other words, if you shoot them with a shotgun or a minigun, they're not going to, you know, do, 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 do. they're just going to keep pushing on until they get you. That is, if you didn't take the inspiration from 2D where everything had knockback. <laughs> but, yeah, overall, the crows are going to be annoying. Let me tell you that. If you guys are an old different tier 2D player, these guys, they come in, like, like numbers of 5 or 4 or whatever. And it's just be annoying to take them on because you're focusing on the area, you know, on the effect in front of you. And then you got to focus on these guys. And it just becomes a huge, you know, a party. And you just got to make sure you survive. But... Overall, like you said, he's introducing new weapons. You can, you can even loot the assembled and complete weapon, which I like that. In other words, high risk, high reward. So, yeah, I mean, overall, this is just great. Like you say, it took some inspiration from different tier 2D. But, uh, yeah. Oh, and the also thing, the twist, where is, you know, if you want to look at the minimap, you have to be able to, you know, clean out the block first. In other words, when you're getting attacked. And then once everything comes down, you'll be able to see your minimap again, which I love. I love that. So it just, again... Is bringing the high risk, high reward, you know, skills to pay the bills. You know, do you know how to actually loop, bruh? You know, do you even lift cuts? So, <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm just getting hyped for this. But, yeah, overall, great update. I really do hope that when these guys do come out, they're not as difficult as we think. This one is a Titan, obviously. But, like, yeah, you know, he's working on some other variations as well. But, uh, yeah, what do you guys think? You think this, you know, update will be worth it? Excuse the mess in the back. I've been laying on my ass to kind of, you know, relax this hamstring. But, uh, yeah, I'm still going to upload videos, just not very comfortably. So, if you see me doing this a lot, you know why. But, yeah, it's Armando setting up. Love you guys. Thank you for keeping on supporting me. Nice English, Armando. But, yeah, without further ado, I'll see you guys later. Take it easy. Bye. Bye.